All right, guys. We're glad to be here again. It's been a, we know it's been a few weeks since you guys seen us together. And so we're just going to come together and talk about this particular topic because this is an important topic and it's about age gap. Now, yeah. we've got the Pico Cellular still going. Yeah, we still got with Pico Cellular. It sucks, but until the next week. Yeah. If it's not your day, you can't get into the bank and you can't get into the grocery store. And that's one of the ways that they've been doing to keep the you know the cases down regarding the pandemic okay it, uh, this is a good topic my father used to tell me when uh we, when you're younger that you want an older woman but when you're older you want a younger one this this is quite this is true mm -hmm. this is true all right guys we're gonna get started on this topic and the topic of the day is just like uh homie was just saying is about intergenerational inter uh, in other words, age gap couples. As you guys know that Andre and I are about how many years apart? 27. 27 years. That's like a whole person in between us in, as far as age gaps. So, yeah, that's so a lot. Our, yeah, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> However, it works for us. And so we're gonna- you, Do you know that you are the oldest guy that I ever date? Ever, ever dated? Yeah, 27. 27 it's, it's years. Good. Even though you like yeah. older, you like older men. Yeah, but always rather have been like 20, 25, but 27 is there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'll take it. I don't care. I'm, I'm the one that got we no, got. No, because you look younger, right? If you will be white, oh my God, you'll be like my grandpa. Ooh, see. Now I know. <laughs> now I know. So so could you have dated somebody that was right? No. <laughs> Maybe wow. when I was a teenager or, or, or under the 18, but no, I can't. I can't do that. Right. Why? Why, why do you feel that? Because a man takes more time to get mature. So to me, they didn't like, I'm 26 right now, and then what I do with 30, to me, like they didn't a baby. For me, I'm a, um, don't tell me wrong, but it, it's where I saw before. So that's what I, I'm not. I'm not in that uh, situation. You said that his dad is 28 years older than his wife. And they have, and he said, I had my little sister two years ago. <laughs> that's what's up. That's the man. That's right. He's <laughs> that, still working. That's right. Dad's still doing what needs to be done. <laughs> yeah. The reason why it's easier for men, not saying that you can't have an older woman, younger man scenario, mm -hmm. but like Andre just said, the first thing is men mature slower than women. Yeah. Men mature slower than women. If at 25, if, if Andre had met me at, at the same age, she is 26. No, it, you guys have heard enough of my stories on, on, on Friday night drinking that she wouldn't want to been around the Andre in his 20s anyway so that yeah. would have been a good thing yeah real maturity does not happen until later on in life that's why a lot of times men our values start to come to life in our late 30s early 40s even sometimes in our 50s we start to show the value of who we are compared to when we we're in our 20s yeah and you weren't but women because of being women mature a lot faster. Their brain, they, they have the ability to use both sides of the brains at the same time. So even their thinking is a lot more mature. Mm -hmm. uh, their behavior patterns towards you ladies, towards economics, towards relationships, towards life. A lot of things are far more mature. However, we all know that there are some young women that are 26 that act just like they're 26 or 16. <laughs> 16 i would say so there are some women such mm -hmm. as andrea that have older souls that mature it and that's one thing that works works with us uh yeah it's 33 years age mm -hmm. difference between me and my sister and i <laughs> wow that that's 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 what's up man that's what's up okay. 33 years the next thing is that uh okay he got a question oh got a question here okay yes yeah absolutely correct correct just like we were just talking men mature a lot slower than women do and so therefore we are we're behind the eight ball you know women look at us crazy with a lot even though they love us they look at us crazy for a lot of stuff that we do when we're younger and for some men they never mature like the dog see 
It's never mature. Every day the dog is walking by and is barking with the old lady. Okay, the next thing that we're going to talk about, I know, right? <laughs> the next, I just saw my face here in the phone. It was so funny. Oh, so did you? <laughs> the other thing about being in a younger, older relationship is you don't give it. You don't care about what society has to say. You really don't care about what family or friends or what your neighbors mm -hmm. think about your relationship compared to couples that are with the same age tend to allow others to come into their relationship and show some form of influence. Whether it be the mom giving her input, whether it be dad giving his input, whether it be the neighbors or just society themselves, uh, it seems to be couples that are right around the same age are influenced subconsciously a lot by other people other than themselves sometimes. But when you're in a younger, older relationship, you walk through the door, you don't care about what other people think. And a, and a lot of times when we're together, people can tell, but very few realize how much of a gap that Andre and I have. Very few. When we say it, people are like, what? How many years? I thought Andrea was 31, 30. In a couple of months, the girl gonna be hitting that 27. Ha, ha, ha. Cracking that 30 upside the head. You ready to be 30 years old? No. Why? I'm never gonna be ready. You're never gonna be ready? Why is it that women do dread the 30 year old? Because I don't want to get older. I don't want to have, you know, like wrinkles and stuff. Yeah, I don't want no, I don't want to have gray hair. You don't I have gray know. hair yet. Even when you get older, you don't want to have gray. Well, I'm 60. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> so next one is Andrea gets a chance to gleam off of the fact that I've already lived certain stages of life. Mm -hmm. And so she gets to see what life is like at this stage and at that stage and at this stage. Instead of having to wait to experience certain things, she gets to see certain things that will that takes place or hear about certain stories that take place in the future. However, the maturity that she brings to the table brings me a lot of uh, preparation for the future. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. Her maturity prepares me for, okay, this is a person I can trust as far as economics. This is a person I can trust as far as being a business partner, yeah. a person I can trust as far as uh, home ownership and co-parenting. This is a person I can trust in regards to that because of her maturity. The first thing is advice that I always give every dude, mm -hmm. no offense, ladies, it's not something bad. But I'm just talking to the guys for a second. The first thing that I tell every guy that is going to date someone in their 20s, get someone that's an old soul, somebody that's mature by nature. There are some very mature women in their 20s and 30s, no offense to you ladies in the 40s, but we're just talking about age gap right now, that are very mature and the mistake that a lot of guys do they date somebody that's in their 20s or 30s, but the person is so immature, they act like they're in their 20s. They act like they're in their teens. She's so sexy, but you like, pay the, right. Yeah, yeah I, no, it happens a lot when, um, when uh, the, the woman is, is not mature at all. They mm -hmm. got those behavior like a little kid, like a little girl. Mm -hmm. And don't have the responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, I understand that point. Mind you, when she hanging out with her girls and they just doing girlfriend stuff, they wilding out. Don't think this the person, see, this the part. Everybody <laughs> think Andre is so innocent and I'm the one that just be I'm out there wild. I'm not innocent at all. I'm the, one, I'm the one with the white cowboy hat and she got the black cowgirl hat on. I am the hero, the villain, the hero. Why is it Thor, you, you, Loki. You free. You, <laughs> you are free. Everybody, you got 30 more years of experience. You, you are 27. See, everybody think that you're so innocent. Oh, Andrea, oh, Andrea, you're just so nice. Yeah, you're good husband. No, so you're a freak. Oh yeah, no doubt. No doubt, I'm wild. <laughs> Okay, yes sir. I feel like a man has to be a better, or at least in a better position. Absolutely correct. 
they are their women at all times, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be able to support your family household. Uh, yes, absolutely correct. You have to be a man that is mature enough within yourself to be able to say, okay, I've got to be able to put my money in a position to support a family. Even though we don't even have children yet, I'm always thinking about the economics of when children come along. Even though we haven't purchased our first piece of property yet, I am looking at when we first purchase our piece of property, what countries we're going to be in, things like that. I'm always, all, every day, even when she doesn't realize it, I'm thinking about those particular things. But that comes from maturity. When I was in my 20s, I wasn't thinking like this. So she gets the benefits of a man that thinks about family first mm -hmm. compared to a man that that thinks about self first. <laughs> and uh, I think maybe in, let's say five, maybe more, you're going to have a shortage between us. Yeah. It's sad to laugh and do all the stuff that kids doing and now doing the live stream. If you told me Andre had a halo oh. hovered above her, I would believe it. <laughs> off, this is who we are as a couple. So it's not like off camera, we're arguing all day. And we, I'll tell you the most arguments that we've had. We've actually had a lot, not argue, but disagreements. Let's put it like this. Mm -hmm. The biggest disagreements we've had so far is since we've purchased our vehicle and we're driving. Oh yeah. That that is for prior to that <laughs> smooth sailing, no disagreements. We boy, we put get on the road, and she's she's like Andre, do this, do that. Or I'm like Andrea, do this, do that. So even when, if if I'm driving or if she's driving, we're still at that stage of learning locations and learning. I, I, she may know locations, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because it's her city. Mm -hmm. but her driving style is still new but other than that we really are we're really not an argumentative couple we don't we don't just be rah-rah for nothing the next one is that you can depend on each other if i need a uh, medication you know like i just started blood pressure pills because high blood pressure runs in my family and so i stalled it for years and now i officially got to take it now right and uh, even though i'm healthy as a bull I'm healthier than your girl. Yeah, that's true. That is sad, but it's See, true. But I do realize as I age, that gap will benefit me. Now, anything can happen to her as a young person as well. And, and that is where she can lean on me too. I'm mature enough to realize that anything, you know, God forbid anything happens to Andrea, she knows Andrea is going to be right there. He's man enough to not leave me stranded in a situation. Yeah. So that's where, that's where the leaning comes in, right? So you can lean on me. Lean, I got two big shoulders, two two big boy shoulders, <laughs> big boy shoulders waiting for you. Oh, yep. what a cutie! That's right. 